Hello everyone, Sarah Breitlander here with Crane Luxury Real Estate, and I hope this video finds you happy and well wherever you may be. Where am I? I am in Playa Grande. Playa Grande is so hot right now. So many of my clients are discovering this lovely community. There's a true sense of community in Playa Grande. Um, we are 15 minutes, 20 minutes north of Tamarindo. Um, and about 15 minutes south of Playa Flamingo, for example, to give you a frame of reference, super centrally located. Great schools in the area, great amenities. You, you're, you're driving to all the beach towns. Also, Grande has a ton of flavor, local restaurants, as I said, a real sense of community. And then you've got Playa Grande Beach, which for my surfer clients or just people who love the ocean generally, everyone knows that Playa Grande is one of the best surfing spots uh, in the country, in fact. And so, so many of our clients like to land here for the surf, but they realize they're not down in Negra, that's almost too hard to get to, um, or Nosara. They, they can be here with the schools next to the International Airport and still experience the great surf. So not only are we in Grande and three minutes to the beach, but we are in the most prestigious gated community in Grande called Las Ventanas. And this is my newest exclusive listing here. This is a four bedroom single family home in this lovely gated community. So I'm super excited. It's also, as you will see, has a ton of natural light and it's built within the canopy. So it's aptly named the tree house. So come along with me and let's check it out. Okay guys, here we are inside the house and I want you to see what your guests and you will see when you walk in the house. Right there, a beautiful wall of glass bringing the outdoors in, great pendant lighting, vaulted ceilings, a teak staircase, and then your guests come in here. Look at this space. I love this space. Look at the canopy. That's why we call it the tree house. You're just built right in such such a nice look. I mean, you just feel like, and, and this is the driest month of the year, um, and this is still pretty green. When, when it, when the rains come and it's lush, I mean, you can't see anyone else. It's just you wrapped in this canopy, and it's just lovely. Okay, let's talk about the indoor space because I love that as well. Everything you see here, most and maybe exceptions of artwork, but. It comes as you see it, which is wonderful. It's supposed to be a turnkey rental for you or move-in ready. I think this large sectional just perfectly frames the space. It looks so good in here. I love these floating shelves, really, really stylish. Again, the elements of teak wood is really nice. Big flat screen TV and a great accent wall for that pop of color. You've got vaulted ceilings here. You've got dual ceiling fans and you've got dual ACs. So you can keep it as fresh or as cool as you like it. Um, then this just opens up beautifully to this uh, indoor dining for four. This, again, elements of wood. This is uh, one slab of guanacaste wood, bringing that Costa Rica vibe in, which is really nice. Then it just keeps going. This is your main entertaining area, and I love it. I really like this four-person breakfast bar. These chairs are not only stylish, but they have the backs that are really, really comfortable. And then you can see there's accents of wood underneath, which is really nice. The white quartz countertops is the way to go. This island has, has great uh, space here, tons of counter space. And then this has a waterfall edge here. Let's talk a little bit about some practicalities. So this is kind of a laundry room, a nice big sink here, stackable washer dryer, and then you also have Costa Rican hardwood made uh, a pantry here, made of Costa Rican hardwood. Um, so more, more space uh, for, for items in your kitchen. Also, that is a, an access door, so um, if you want to have help in the home, they can enter through there, which is kind of a nice touch without entering through the main home. Let's talk about this kitchen. So we've got KitchenAid appliances. Um, I really like this two-tone. So it's, it's soft clothes, right? Really nice. And then this, um, this, this neutral shade. The two tones are really, really nice, and I love it when they incorporate it with the wood. I think that's a sharp look. Hardware free for that clean, crisp look. And then you get your punch of color with the blue subway tile, which is really, really nice. You have a dishwasher, you have everything you need here. Right on this side is your built-in microwave and oven here. Just a really nice, lovely uh, kitchen in your treehouse. And I wanna uh, show you just a minute this outdoor space. We're gonna explore down below for, uh, you know, in a moment, but I just want you to see the lovely pool down there. 
It's a great angle for you to view it here. Lovely, lovely tiled uh, pool with different shades of blues and greens. Um, this outdoor space is covered. Nice teak accent. You can enjoy this rain or shine. I also want you to see from here, again, we're at the driest month of the year. It, this is fully fenced in, so it's only gonna get greener from here. This is fully fenced in, so it's great if you have pets um, or, or you know, just kids and you, you know, want everyone contained, it's fully fenced in. But the owners also own the land that extends over that fence. You see that pad down there? That is included with the property. So think casita, think yoga pavilion, think garden, think rock garden. Um, there are a lot of things you could do with that um, just right off of your property here, which is nice. Um, another reason I like this home is just because the layout kind of lends itself to a lot of privacy within your home uh, because the main principal bedroom is on the main floor here and the other three bedrooms are down below. What does that mean? It means, you know, if you have kids or you have guests, you each have your own space. So this is kind of the adult, you know, space I envision. And I know that the current owners really like that they can watch their kids, but the kids are more downstairs. They have their out, own outdoor area. Um, and it's just kind of nice. It fits for everyone and you're not right on top of each other, which is, which is really, really great. I want to show you, here we are in the principal bedroom, nice and large, great um, headboard there, again, the Costa Rican wood, both of these sliding glass doors open, and you have more canopy. I love this, very, very private. You have one neighbor here, but there are no windows on that wall, um, and quite honestly, you can even plant more trees there, but it's real, there's no privacy concern here. You're just looking um, into the valley here, and that just gets, like I said, more lush and more green. So this is a really nice space. One of the reasons that I love Las Ventanas generally, this gated community, is because they, they don't cut trees. A lot of gated communities will, you know, cut ocean view pads, they cut all the trees, and you see the houses, you're right on top of each other. Not so in Las Ventanas, as you can see, you're, you feel like you're in the forest, which is really, really nice, even though you're in a gated community with all the community and the security that that entails. So in this principal uh, bedroom, you're just coming right through here through the walk-in closet, and then here is your principal bathroom. Nice and bright. I love a bright bathroom. Dual vanity sinks. These are vessel sinks, really nicely done. Um, and again, these floating shelves here with incorporating the, the wood look and the beautiful pendant lighting. Really nice touch. So we're going back out through here. I love this, um, this powder room. This is a really nice half bath. Look how striking. This is what your guest uh, will be using here. I love the, the quartz sink there. Isn't that really unique? And then you have the accent tile, which is really nice. I love that color blue. Okay. This is your, your kind of tour of the, uh, the top level. Now we're gonna go downstairs and we'll explore that next. Okay guys, here we are on the bottom floor um, and I want you to see just again this teak staircase. Isn't that really, really nice? Lots of light coming in on this ground floor, which I also like. Um, and then there's this huge space here under, under the steps. They're currently using it uh, for their fur baby sometimes when they have guests over, but you can use that as a lockout closet, storage space. Um, some, some nice space to utilize there. So let's get started on exploring the bedrooms. This is bed, bedroom number two. Look how bright it is for a ground floor unit. You can see all the greenery, the flowers outside. I think this is a, I love a happy bright room and this certainly meets the expectations. I think this headboard is, is so nice as well and the color. So everything you need here, large closet, um, definitely checks all the boxes. These two bedrooms are gonna share this bathroom, nice and large, great neutral tiles. I love the, the pebble uh, floor on the shower there. And then there's the vessel sink. And then bedroom number three, great space. All the bedrooms are a great size. And of course this has sliding glass doors just out to the yard area and nice uh, closet space as well. Okay, more exploring. This is a great space. Um, you actually have two spaces here. Do with them what you want. Uh, right now, they just have an accent table here and kind of a music station. This would be great for an office, home office, for sure. 
Um, and we have a fourth bedroom, and look at this fourth bedroom. Again, great size. I love this sliding barn door. This has its own ensuite bath. Check that out. All right, so we're gonna go back out. Of course, this has sliding glass doors uh, and wonderful, beautiful pool views. And then this is the main exit from the bottom floor. Look at this space. Oh, I really like this space as well. So totally usable, um, really nice patio out here. Again, now we're at the pool level. You can hear the birds. I really like this outdoor furniture here, nice and peaceful. Check out this outdoor shower. Really cool tuck. Look at this space. This space has been built. It's beautiful. It's covered with teak, a nice large fan out here, built-in grill, and all you need, it's perfectly usable, but you could really, I mean, put some really cool furniture out here um, and really make this like grandioso. Um, I love it the way it is. I think it's great. Um, and, and it's really nice to have this bonus space. You don't often see this. So we've got this four bedroom house, which is right there alone, incredible. It's kind of in the canopy. You have your own pool, you have this great outdoor space, and you have uh, the land here to do with what you want, and you're in a gated community, and you're close to all the private schools, and Playa Grande, one of the best surfing beaches there, there, uh, there is in, in Costa Rica. So a nice grill here, KitchenAid grill, nice space, right? Okay, this is just another view of the outdoor area. So. This is the tree house. If this home is of interest to you, contact our team or a crane agent today. Tell them you wanna see the tree house. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you know the latest and greatest coming to the market. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now and put a vida.